Large language models have created countless opportunities across multiple industries and have even tackled some of the use cases we initially um, could not think possible. However, the inference time of these models can be quite long, making them challenging to deploy into production. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to a framework that allows a fast and easy inference of these large language models. If you're ready, let's dive in. The tool that we are discussing today is called VLLM, and this tool was analyzed in terms of benchmarking against other tools like Hugging Face Text Generation Inference and Hugging Face Transformer, which are both some popular tools used to serve large language models. And this benchmarking analysis was done on two main settings using the serving of Llama 7 billion parameter on an NVIDIA A10J GPU and also a Llama 13 billion on an NVIDIA A100 GPU with 40 GB. And the result is quite impressive because the VLLM in every scenario was able to outperform these two remaining tools. The saving throughput when each request asks for uh, like three parallel outputs completion VLLM achieved around 8.5 to 15 times higher throughput than hugging fees and also 3.3 to 3.5 higher throughput than TGI. So the reason why I'm considering Google Colab is because it provides free GPU that we can use to speed up the analysis. So to have this GPU, just select runtime and from runtime select change runtime type and select the GPUs that are provided here. So I already have this T4 GPU that I'm using then just start with the installation of VLLM by typing pip install VLLM. Once the installation is done, now we need two other modules, LLM and sampling parameters from the VLLM library. And the reason why we're doing this is before serving the model is to see how the offline batching is going to perform compared to running the inference using an API. My goal here is try to use a large language model to complete these three prompts. The first one Abidjan is located in. Let's let, let me give you an overview of what I'm expecting here. So we have three prompts. The first one Abidjan is located in data scientist is a person who and the third one is the future of agriculture in africa and these three missing piece of information is going to be filled by the large language model and before running the batch inference we can also specify some sampling parameters first we give the temperature of 0 0.8 and the top probability of 0 0.95 and maximum tokens of 50 okay and let's let's run this and the model we're using is called opt 1.125 m this is a model from facebook and also can be accessed on hugging face and this is not the only model that we can use there are so many other models that we can use from hugging face and let's have a look at these these models from the github repository we can see that there are other models like batch one bloom models falcon model gpt2 models and so on and other models like mpt models so these are some of the models that can be used using vllm for inference let's load this llm well after loading the model we can finally generate the text from the previous uh, prompts now we can run 
these outputs and to see what was generated but by this model we can run this follow-up to print out each of the prompts and all along with the generated text and for the first prompt Abidjan is located in the generated text is the north of the country of the bank of Caraba River okay and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is the most visited tourist destination in the north of the country. Okay, so this is the first one. And the second one, a data scientist is a person who, this is a prompt, and the generated result is a passionate about data science. I'm a data scientist for six years now, and in between working in data science and programming, and I'm a data scientist. It is the truth. I'm in my first year in data science. And now to use the VLLM for online serving, uh, we can use an open AI like server. And this is a command that allows the generation of the endpoints. First of all, we run Python M VLLM Interpoint dot OpenAI dot API server. This is basically the general instruction that we give to generate the endpoint. And the host specify is local host. I want the serving to be on the 8000 port. The model that I want to use is Facebook OPT-125M, which is the exact same model that I have specified above here. This is exact same model. And also, let's first consider this first line. It's going to generate an endpoint that we cannot use because the link will be generated on a Google server since we're using Google Colab. And to make it accessible on a public internet, we use NPX local tunnel port by specifying the same port here. What this local tunnel is going to do is to kind of redirect the link that is generated here into a public internet. So let's run this to see what is going to happen. As you can see here, the URL generated is https calmdeerpoclocal.lt. And this is a kind of partial link generated. Let's just paste this one. To have a complete URL, we need to add V1 completions. So this is going to generate an OpenAI like URL. And now we can copy this link. Now let's have a look at the Postman interface that I have. Here is the complete link that was generated, that was generated here. This complete link that I have here, and I have just pasted, I have just pasted the exact same link. And now let's provide the exact same information above by specifying the model, which is Facebook slash OPT12M, the prompt, Abidjan is located in maximum token 50, temperature 0.8, and the top P probability, which is 0.9. And now by sending this, we can, we got the results. It was instantaneous. As you can see here, we have the input information in this first part. And the result is provided in the text, which is the northeast. Abidjan is located in the northeast of Senegal, and the capital is located in the northwest of the country, and so on and so forth. Let's say that we want to provide another example. Let's say the future of agriculture, the future of agriculture. in Africa is and let's run it here the result is almost instantaneous there is the future of agriculture in Africa is here 
And it's fascinating how we have barely begun to understand the devastating effect of climate change. And the sentence goes on and on and on. This is how you can create an inference API for your large language model. I'll also provide the link to the notebook in the description section so that you can make some experimentation yourself. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to support me so that I can, I can keep making those useful videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.